It is deja vu in Port Arthur tonight. The city once again finds itself having a trash problem. Mounting piles of debris line many neighborhood streets. KFTM 6 News live at one of those locations, Angel San Juan in the Pear Ridge area of the city with more on this messy situation, Angel. Messy is right, Aaron, and unfortunately, this is not the first time that the citizens of Port Arthur have had to deal with something like this. Last year, we reported on a similar citywide crisis when the city says it did not have enough trucks to collect the garbage. Well, now the city says it doesn't have enough manpower. Roger Bork enjoys walking his dog Bella through their neighborhood, but those outings have been less enjoyable in recent weeks. Bork Street and the surrounding area have become eyesores because of debris piles like this. We haven't had a dry trash pickup in this area since April the 26th. Uh, we usually get them once a month for about the last year and a half, maybe two. But uh, here lately, it's just seems like it's just one ever. Homeowners in Port Arthur pay a rubbish fee, $1.75 a month, for the city to pick up trash like yard waste, furniture, boxes, and other bigger items. And this time of year, there was a lot of spring cleaning and yard work, and all the debris from that is lining the curbs. Many of these piles in Peerage have been here for two months. House down the road over there, you can look at their pile, and they got grass about two foot tall around their pile. Bork fears it's only going to get worse and become a health hazard attracting rodents. It just makes the neighborhood look bad. It makes the whole city of Port Arthur look bad, really, uh, since they can't maintain uh, dry trash pickup like they're supposed to. Mayor Thurman Barti blames a personnel problem with the delay in trash pickup. The mayor says three or four of the truck operators are out sick and on leave. Then he says the city has had equipment emergencies. One of the trucks, uh, went in, up in flames, people caught fire. It wasn't anything that was published, but so we lost that truck. So the mayor says to confront this crisis, the city is going to have to hire a contractor to help Port Arthur catch up. The only thing left to do was to actually go into uh, the mode of getting the contractor so that the citizens would not go up in rage because a service that they actually paid for wasn't being performed. So I believe we have a plan in place. Let's go. Come on. Bork and many other citizens hope this is more than a temporary fix and that the city prevents these trash troubles in the future so that these piles don't become part of the permanent landscape. Mayor Barti says the contractor that was hired to help the city catch up with the trash pickup is starting this week, but he says it could take two weeks to basically pick up the trash that's out here right now, that's been out here for several weeks because it is a lot of trash. We're live in Port Arthur, Angel Sam Juan, KFDM 6 News.